expose them, disarm them, disgrace them, destroy their plans, destroy them. Destroy them. If they refuse to repent, then Lord, destroy them. Let your judgment come upon them. I want you to know for some people, they don't understand this God that we are serving. God is so loving. God is so kind. It's a God of love. He's a God of merciful, but he's also a God of judgment. You need to understand the totality of God. If they refuse to repent, then the judgment of God have to visit them. Because if the judgment of God doesn't visit them, then it means that you will never get your freedom. Yeah. It means that you will never get your liberty. Yes, it means that you will never advance. It yes. means that that marriage will never succeed. Yeah. It means that your children will be wasted. It means that destiny will be aborted. It means that destiny will be aborted. Haman was willing to pay price. Haman was willing to do anything to see the entire race of Israel destroyed, killed. Killed. Wicked. Wickedness. Wickedness. At least, don't you care about children? Wickedness. Don't you even care about the old? The old, they don't have strength to fight you. Don't you care about them? No. I want you to know that the devil that we are fighting with, the powers, the principalities, they don't care. If you give them the chance, they will come, they will steal, they will destroy. God said that resist the devil. That is why he said resist him. Don't give the devil, don't give the devil chance in your life. Don't give the devil chance in the lives of your children. Don't give the devil chance in the in your marriage. Don't give the devil chance in your finances. Don't give the devil chance in your Christian work. Don't give the devil chance in your health. If you don't resist him, they will come in, they will steal, they will kill, they will destroy. They will destroy. They will destroy. And today, that is why we are fasting. Mm -hmm. Because you see, when that decree was made, Esther said, let us fast. Right now you are fasting. And I want you to resist the devil. Yeah. I want you. God has given you the power to resist the devil. Mm -hmm. Tell the devil, devil, you have no right to attack my marriage. You have no right to destroy my home. You have no right to destroy my health. You have no right to destroy my children. You have no right to destroy my finances. Who told you that as Christians, we have to be poor? And begging. No, in the word of God, God has blessed us. When you read Revelation, he said that he has crowned you with glory and honor. He has placed everything in subjection under you. You're supposed to be rich in order for you to advance the course of God, the work of God. But if you are poor, it doesn't glorify God. Always borrowing, always begging. If someone don't come to help you, you can't even settle your bills. No, this is an error. And today we are coming against the devil. Amen. We are coming against the powers of darkness. Amen. And we are demanding our freedom. Amen. We are demanding our liberty. Amen. In the name of Jesus, we don't care whatever price that they have paid. The price of Jesus Christ, the blood of Jesus is powerful. Amen. It surpasses every sacrifice that they have that they have made Amen. the blood of jesus so if you can turn your bible your bibles with me esther chapter 3 verse 9 esther chapter 3 verse 9 he say if if it please the king so this this is haman haman talking if it please the king let a decree be written that that they be destroyed He's talking about the children of Israel. Because when you read verse 8, because of time, I will not be able to read verse 8. But verse 8, he talks about the Jewish who they don't obey. He was lying, saying things that are not true about the children of God. And then verse 9, he said that if it pleases the king, let a decree be written that they be destroyed. And I will pay. Is it in your Bible? He says that I will pay. <laughs> See, your enemies, those that are after your husband, I want you to know, those ladies, 
that are after, that are taking the attention of your husband. Mm. Let me tell you, it's not physical. They have gone to a sorcerer. They have gone to a soothsayer. They have gone to a psychic. They have gone to voodoo to get la love spell to bewitch your husband. So if you also don't rise up to pray, to break that power, See, they've gone length. Some people, they have, they have gone to a witch doctor to release sickness into your body. And you, as a child of God, you are saying that you're not going to pray <laughs> and send that arrow back. Okay, sit down. Sit down and let them put it in your body. For me, I will not sit down for them to put it in my body because it's, it's injustice. Mm. I haven't done you any wrong. You went to a soothsayer. To project sickness into my body to kill me and i'm sitting down that i'm not gonna send the sickness back to wherever it came from please please pray pray because right now that you're sitting down there you don't know any demonic sickness that they have projected into your body because when sicknesses are released sometimes it will take time in order for it to manifest in your life physically so pray that any sickness that they've released here the bible says that Haman was willing to pay he said that and i will pay ten thousand talent of silver into your hand of those who do the work to bring it into the king's treasure Haman said that king you don't have to spend a dime you don't have to do anything to get these people killed. I am willing to sponsor. even to sponsor it and also to pay you. Mm. To pay you 10,000. See, this money that he's talking about is mm. a lot of money. Your enemies, they are willing to pay any price. So you to rise up and pray. Sacrifice. Pray. Don't keep quiet for them to destroy your marriage. Don't keep quiet for, the, for them to destroy your children. Don't keep quiet for, for them to destroy your education. Don't keep quiet for them to close your womb. Don't keep quiet. So today we are going to pray. Lord, any evil plan of, my, of, my, of the enemy, any plot, anything that they have devices against me against my children against my marriage against my health against my finances in any, every area of your life lord jesus deliver me Amen. deliver me Amen. deliver me Amen. deliver me lift up your voice and pray right now that lord deliver me deliver me from every plans of the enemy every plot oh god that they plotted against me any demonic plans that they plan against my marriage any demonic plans that they have planned against my children that my children shouldn't succeed any plan that they plan against my health lord jesus i cry out to you lord deliver me 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 and destroy their evil plans in the name of jesus lord deliver me and destroy Destroy their evil plans, their witchcraft attack. Lord, destroy it. Their witchcraft attack. Lord, destroy it. In the name of Jesus, the hexes that they have released into our body, into some people's body. Lord, destroy it. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I pray for you right now. May the Lord intervene. May the Lord deliver you from evil plot, from every plan that the devil has planned against your marriage to destroy it may the lord deliver you every evil plan against your children may the lord deliver your children every plan every evil plan against your health against your husband may the lord deliver you may the lord deliver you may the lord deliver you may the lord deliver you, the lord deliver you. and those that have sworn that over their dead 
nobody. Lord, let judgment visit them. Lord, let judgment visit them. Lord, let judgment visit them. Those that have decided that they will not repent, let your judgment visit them, O oh God. Let your judgment visit them, O oh God. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. We are going to pray. When you read the book of Acts, Acts 23, verse 12, Bible let us know that there was 40 men who banded themselves with an oath. With an what? An oath. Meaning that these people are what? Unrepented. They're not going to repent. They are not going to change their mind. They are die hard what? Enemy. They are very stubborn like him, men. They are now. We are going to pray the Lord. Anyone that had made an, an oath and plotted evil or has summoned a soothsayer, a, um, a soothsayer, um, a psychic, witch doctor, witch doctor Voodoo priests, voodoo priest, priestesses, for them to release any witchcraft attack against my husband, against my life, against my children, against my education, against my finances, against my job. Anyone that has taken a contract over my head, over my life, Lord Jesus. If they refuse to repent, let your judgment, let your judgment visit them. Let your judgment visit them. Let your judgment visit them. Lift up your voice and pray right now. Lord Jesus, we come against every agent of darkness. We come against anyone, oh God, that have taken contract over our lives to plot evil against us, oh God. Powers from our father's house, powers from our mother's house that have decided that they will not give us rest. Lord Jesus, we pray, oh God, let your judgment, let your judgment visit them, oh God. Let your judgment visit them, oh God. Let your judgment visit them, oh God. Let your judgment visit them oh god and lord bring us freedom deliver us deliver us deliver us set us free in the name of jesus in the name of jesus amen i want us to pray and i want each and every one of us to pray this prayer even though for some people is very direct for some people the devil is really after their lives the dreams that they are having shows that they have released a spirit of death against their life premature death against their life because there are certain dreams that when you have them it depicts it shows you that the devil is after your very life so today we're going to pray the Lord, deliver my soul from death. Because remember, Haman wasn't just pleased to make the lives of the children of Israel miserable. You see, Mordecai was sitting at the gates. He wasn't even in the palace. Yes, too, Haman wasn't satisfied. He wanted Mordecai was dead. So we're going to pray the Lord, Deliver my soul from death. Any plans of the evil against my life. To cause premature death in my life. To cause premature death in my children. In my husband. In my family. Father God. Deliver my soul from death. Deliver my soul. Deliver my soul from death. When you read the word of God. He said the Lord snatch those that have been appointed to die. 
May the Lord snatch your soul. May the Lord deliver your soul from death. In the name of Jesus, may the Lord deliver your soul. So we're standing on Psalm 116. Psalm 116 verse 8. He said, for you have delivered my soul from death, my eyes from tears, and my feet from falling. Lord, deliver my soul from death. Lord, snatch me. From death, because for some people, death is so close to you. Because when you when you sleep, you see someone chasing you. You see a snake biting you. You see you see um your dead relatives. You see casket. You see yourself in the grave grave um graveyard. It all these dreams de depict that that the spirit of death is after you. Today, I want us to pray, Lord. And I want each one of us to pray because you, you don't know. So pray and cancel it in case, in case if there is any plan of death, that the Lord deliver our soul from death. Lord, deliver me from death. So lift up your voice and pray right now. Lord, we pray in the mighty name of Jesus. Father God, I pray, oh Lord. Lord, deliver my soul from death, oh God. Lord, deliver the souls of my children. Deliver the soul of Samuel from death. Deliver the soul of Sonia from death. Deliver the soul of Sarah from death. Deliver the soul of my husband from death. Deliver my soul from death. In the name name of Jesus, every plans of the enemy against me, Lord Jesus, deliver my soul, deliver my soul, deliver my soul, deliver my soul, Father God, I pray for my family members, Lord Jesus, deliver the souls of my family members from death, in the name of Jesus, snatch our souls, snatch our soul, snatch our souls from the spirit of death, in the name of Jesus, anything of God that will bring tears into our eyes, Lord, deliver us, Lord, deliver us, Lord, deliver us, Lord, deliver us. I pray for your children, people in Fresh Fire Prayer Ministry, people that are joining Minister Esther Word. I pray for you right now. May the Lord deliver your soul from death. In case anyone listening to me, in case you are appointed to death, may the Lord deliver you. May the hand of God deliver your soul. May the Lord deliver your soul from the spirit of death in the name of Jesus. Father God, we pray for your mercy. Deliver us, oh God. Deliver our soul. Deliver your children's soul from death in the name of Jesus. Let the plans of the enemy be destroyed. Let the plans of the enemy be destroyed in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, we come against every spirit of premature death. We come against it in the name of Jesus. We come against it in the name of Jesus, and we declare long life. We declare good health. We declare long life. May the Lord grant you divine protection. May the Lord protect you. May the Lord protect your husband. May the Lord protect your children. May the Lord protect your family members. May the Lord deliver your soul from the spirit of death. May the Lord deliver your soul from the spirit of death. May the Lord deliver the souls of your family members from the spirit of death. Anything that will bring tears into your eyes. May the Lord deliver you. 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 In the name of Jesus. Lord have mercy on us. Lord, have mercy on us and let your divine protection rest upon us. Let your divine protection rest upon us. Form a wall of fire around us, oh God. Form a wall of fire around us, oh God. Form a wall of fire around us, oh God. Form a wall of fire around us, oh God. Around our children, around our husband, around us, oh God. Around our family members. Lord, deliver us. Lord, deliver our souls in the name of Jesus, grant us long life, grant us good health, grant us long life, grant us long life, grant us good health, in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. 
one more prayer and we will bring it to an end one more prayer as esther fasted the king couldn't refuse her the king said esther what is your request you have fasted for these three days you have waited on the lord and I want you to know that God will not deny you. Amen. God will not refuse you. Amen. I don't know what your need is. Amen. Let me read the scripture and we will stand on. And I want each and every one of us to bring our heart cry, our heart desire before the Lord. And I want you to have confidence in God. I want you to have faith in God that as you have sought the face of God, God will grant your request. God will not disappoint you. God will restore that marriage. God will heal you. Whatever your heart desire is, God will grant it to you in the name of Jesus. Esther chapter 5 verse 3. Esther chapter 5 verse 3. It reads, and the king said to Esther, and the king said to her, what, what do you wish? Now God is asking you, what do you need? What is your request after this fast? What do you want God to do for you? God is asking you, what do you need from me? God is asking, what do you want me to do for you? You see, don't say that, oh, God knows. When Jesus saw blind Bartimaeus, Jesus saw that Bartimaeus was blind. Mm -hmm. Yes, so he asked him, what do you want me to do for you? And blind Bartimaeus was so clear. He said that I may see. Be specific. What is your need? What is your need? Bring it before the Lord as we pray this last prayer. What is your need? He said, and the king said, <coughs> excuse me, and the king said to her, what do you wish, Queen Esther? What is your request? It shall be given to you. And I want you to know that as you bring your request to the Lord, God will grant you your request. God will perform your heart desire. God will do exceedingly and abundantly. God will answer you. God will answer you. God will grant you your request. It, so the king said, what is your request? It shall be given to you up to half of my kingdom. Today, I want each of us to go before the Lord. And I want you to bring your request before the Lord. I want you to bring your heart desire before the Lord. Be very specific. And I want you to have faith. Know that God, he is listening. And God is willing God, he's willing and he's able to grant you your request. So lift up your voice right now and pray and bring your request before the Lord.
Jesus, pray right now. Lord, we thank you, Father. We bless your name. Thank you so much, oh God. Thank you, Jesus, for we know for sure, the Lord, that you have granted our heart desire. Thank you, Lord, because we know, oh God, that you will not deny us. Thank you, Jesus. We bless your name. We thank you for marriages, oh God, that have been restored. We thank you, oh God, for healings, oh God. We thank you, oh God, for deliverances, oh God. Lord, we thank you, Jesus. We bless your name. We thank you. We thank you for what you have done for us. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. We bless your name. In Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Yeah, so this is the end of it. And please, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, Minister Esther Word, please subscribe. And please share the word. Like it and share it so that the word can also bless someone and that will be a form of you also spreading the gospel you don't know who is going through affliction or who this message can be a blessing to so please share it and please if you haven't subscribed to my channel please subscribe and do you want to say something yeah, the fasting ends at 6 p.m. Yes, 6 so p.m. still uh, continue so, praying. So uh, fast on 36 p.m. your time, and you break the fast, um, and um, you can go back and listen to these prayers again and pray alongside. Um, every time we finish a uh, fast, we sow our seeds, our sacrifices at the altar, just as we learned. A man he must, must willing to pay a price. Yeah. He was willing to go and sacrifice to destroy. There are certain enemies that are uh, sacrificing to destroy us even they are also fasting to destroy us the bible says that there were more than 40 people who made a vow and they fasted to make sure that mm -hmm. paul dies yeah so people are fasting and raising sacrifices yeah. to destroy they made us. an oath they made an oath, oath yeah. so we are praying as we have prayed and we have fasted raise your sacrifice and believe god that this coming week after this fast whatever you are trusting and believing god for he will answer you and show you his salvation in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. So the fasting ends at 6 p.m. And our next meeting, God willing, is on Monday at 11 p.m. Eastern Time. U.S. 4 a.m. for those of you in London. 5 a.m. for those of you in Europe. Join us um, um, on Monday as we continue with our prayers for restoration, restitution, and, and also recovery. recovery. Subscribe to Minister S.S. page for it for the um, sowing of the sacrifice or seeds go to our website yeah. fresh www. Fire dot freshfireprayer.com www.freshfireprayer.com www 
freshfireprayer.com. God richly bless you. God bless and everyone. we pray that everything that you are trusting God yes, for and believing Lord God Jesus. for, yes. God will answer you and Amen. answer you speedily. Amen. May the Lord God Almighty, in the book of Esther, we realize that God gave Esther favor. Yes. May God grant you favor Amen. and acceptance Amen. in the name of Jesus. Amen. In the book of Esther, we also discovered that God Almighty delivered Israel yes. and Mordecai and Esther from the bloody hands of Haman. May God deliver you Amen. and your family from premature death, from accident, from sicknesses, from diseases, from calamities, from any disaster, any tragedy, any devastating news, whatever ill pl plot of the enemy against you and your family, may the deliverance of the Lord be your portion. Amen. May the Lord protect Amen. and preserve you and your entire family. May God also open doors for you. May you experience breakthroughs, miracles, signs, and wonders. May God restore you. May God cause restor restitution in your family. May whatever you lost to the devil, may God give you double for your troubles. And may the Lord God Almighty also help you to recover all lost territories. In the name of Jesus, Amen. may the Lord compel your okay. divine helpers yes, to Jesus. come to your Thank aid, you, assistant, Thank and you, help Lord. you to Thank fulfill you, your Jesus. dreams and visions you, this Jesus. week. This coming week, yes. I prophesy to you, Amen. in the next 24 hours, there shall be a miracle. Amen. In the next 48 hours, there shall be a miracle. Amen. In the next 72 hours, there shall be a miracle. Amen. This coming week, you shall record a testimony Amen. of how the Lord has heard, heard your prayer and delivered you Amen. from witchcraft, from demonic catas, from spiritual marriage, from any barrenness, from any joblessness, from any marital problem. May the Lord bring deliverance, restoration, healing, and prosperity into you and your family. In Jesus' name we pray with thanksgiving. Amen. 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 God bless, God bless everyone. God bless everyone. Amen.